Hello, and welcome to the Kingdom YouTube channel. This video is going to be a quick rundown of the basics of character creation in Dungeons & Dragons through D&D Beyond's process. You can find a link to the site in the description below. If you wish to follow along, the number in the top left of the screen will represent the page we're on. We will be doing the standard creation method. Setting a name. When creating your character's name, try to pick something that can be easily pronounced as you, your teammates, and the DM will all be saying it frequently. The only change that needs to be made from the default settings to play during D&D night on the server is to go to advancement type and change it from milestone to XP. Choosing a race. There are many races to choose from. Elves, gnomes, dwarves, humans, and so on. Some races only have one set of bonuses and traits, while others have subraces or variants that can alter their packages of bonuses and traits. Dwarves, genasis, gnomes, and halflings are the races in the default package that have subraces, and humans are the only race in the default package to have a variant. For example, a rock gnome has the tinker and artificer's lore, while a deep gnome has superior dark vision and stone camouflage. Choosing a class. With the default package on D&D Beyond, there are 12 classes to choose from. Bard, Cleric, Rogue, and Ranger are some examples. The classes can be split up into two categories, spellcasters and non-spellcasters. Non-spellcasters are significantly easier to play for beginners. Barbarian, Fighter, and Rogue are three classes you should choose from if you are a beginner. Each class has their own uniqueness. When choosing a class, you will have to select a number of proficiencies and or traits depending on your choice of class. If you'd like to see a video going over the differences in classes, please like, comment, and subscribe. Ability Scores Much of what you do in the game with your character is dependent on their six abilities. These six abilities are Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. D&D Beyond provides three methods of generation for your abilities. The recommended method to use for beginners is Standard Array, where you simply choose from a fixed list of numbers. The other methods are Point By and Manual. Dice are required to follow the manual method. Point By method is similar to the special system in Fallout games, where you are limited to a certain number of points to spend on your abilities. Description This is where you flesh out your character as a person. There are seven pre-built backgrounds to choose from in the default package of D&D Beyond. Soldier, Noble, Sage, and so on. Each background provides a number of additional bonuses in the form of skill and tool proficiencies, languages, and background features. If you are experienced with D&D, you can build your own background by selecting Custom Background option. The rest of the details in the background are done by you and are more personal. Equipment These are the items, armor, and weapons you will be carrying with you throughout the campaign. Make sure to select a weapon and set of armor that fits your character. The basic equipment we suggest you use if you're a beginner are a backpack, bedroll, three rations, 50 feet of hemp and rope, five tinder boxes, and a torch. Completion. After selecting your equipment, you are officially done creating your character and may now view your character sheet. You are now ready to join us for a D&D night. You can find a link to the server in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in creating your character. Don't forget, if you like this video, click subscribe and make sure to follow us on Twitter at the kingdom underscore official to stay up to date.